Hello and welcome back to part two of How Chubby the Cat Was Found. It's a true story, so let's dive back in where we left off. So the next day, Karen went back to look for Chubby. She posted missing cat flyers at the veterinarian's office and around town. Karen went to the junkyard and searched under the cars and near the snowmobile trail. She called, here, Chubby, come, Chubby. She looked around the houses and stores in the neighborhood, but there was no trace of Chubby. Missing cat call Sean or Karen. Here, Chubby. Come, Chubby baby. There's a little snowmobile, too. Karen needed help to search for Chubby, so she called her cousin, Denise, and told her that Chubby was lost. Denise, will you help me look for Chubby? Denise said, yes, of course I will. Together, Karen and Denise walked past houses and through the woods, calling for Chubby. They searched along the snowmobile trail. They followed cat tracks, dog tracks, raccoon tracks, bobcat tracks, and deer tracks. That's a lot of tracks. Here, Chubby baby. Here, kitty kitty. They looked everywhere. They walked for miles along nearby roads calling for Chubby. They tried shaking cat food in a plastic cup, hoping Chubby would hear the familiar sound and come out of the woods or peek out from a stone wall. They looked under sheds and barns and behind garages and warehouses. They walked along frozen streams and looked under trees. They looked any place a cat might hide and take a nap. They spoke to everyone they met along the way and asked, have you seen a white and gray tiger cat? His name is Chubby. Sadly, no one had seen any lost or wandering cat that week. One man they met said, I have a digital wildlife camera on my shed, but I only saw a couple of raccoons and a fox. No sign of Chubby so far. Hmm. Two weeks after Chubby went missing, Denise read a town meeting notice on the town website. She called Karen and said, maybe you could go to the meeting and ask people if they saw Chubby. You could put up a missing cat flyer at the town hall. Karen rushed to the town hall and learned that the meeting had been canceled, but a nice lady there working in the office told her that she could put up a missing cat flyer on the town bulletin board. And so that's what she did. Three weeks had gone by without finding Chubby. A bad snowstorm was in the forecast for the next two days. Karen was very worried about the blizzard that was coming, and she thought about the big trucks that would be plowing the snow. Every morning before work, Karen drove around town, looking and calling for Chubby. Karen thought to herself, Oh, Chubby, I hope you're safe and you found something to eat and a place to sleep. Missing cat, call Sean or Karen. Denise put missing cat posts on social media sites on her computer. Many of her friends saw it and posted ideas and positive thoughts and wishes that Chubby would return home safely, which he obviously did. But how? Now, a month had gone by since Chubby went missing. The recent blizzard, at blizzard added a foot of snow on the ground and the wind blew high snowdrifts along the roads. Karen tried to sleep at night, but it was so cold and windy outside, she couldn't stop worrying about her little cat, but she never gave up hope. Each night, Karen looked out the window for Chubby, hoping and praying, maybe you'll find your way home soon, Chubby baby. She would tell herself, oh, Chubby, I know you're still alive. You're a smart outdoor cat, and you know how to hunt and find shelter, trying not to cry. Hmm. One morning, Karen's cell phone rang. Chirp, chirp. Karen answered her phone, and a lady named Robin exclaimed, I think I have your cat. I saw your flyer at the town hall, and it sure looks like your cat. He's been living under my mobile home for the last few weeks. He doesn't have a collar or ID tag, but he looks like the picture on the flyer. Robin told Karen, we've been putting cat food out for him on the top step each morning. He jumps out of the hole under the trailer, eats the cat food, and then sits on the steps to warm up in the sun. Karen couldn't believe Chubby was found. She told Robin, 
I'll come over as soon as I get out of work. Karen called Denise to meet her there. Denise said she would drive right over to help. Karen said, great, if you hold him, I won't have to worry about him getting away. Now let's see what happens in part three. Stay tuned. We're going to break this story up a little bit. So stay tuned for part three of how they finally find Chubby the Cat. <laughs> see you soon.